Good evening. An internationally acclaimed scientist is tonight behind bars, accused of the murder of his wife, who was also an accomplished researcher. Shocked neighbours say the couple and their children had lived a seemingly happy life in their Klemzig home, which was the scene of the brutal death. Dr Ania Uzmagol was a renowned researcher and lecturer, her expertise in the area of genetically modified crops. The 55-year-old was highly respected by her colleagues at Adelaide University's Waite Institute. Among them, her husband, Dr Serik Ellaby, also an international expert in the field. But last night, inside the Klemzig home they shared with their two children, police allege Dr Ismagul was murdered by the man she shared both her personal and professional life with. Their neighbours stunned the quiet family had been so violently torn apart. They just seemed to be a um, you know, nice, normal couple. She was a really nice lady. They have a daughter and a son. And at one stage they had a niece staying with them. Very quiet, very peaceful, just regular people as us. Dr Ellaby, 53, was arrested at the scene and questioned for several hours before being charged. Forensic officers scouring the scene of his alleged crime for much of the day, emerging with bags of evidence, including a large heavy object. The couple, originally from Kazakhstan, had worked together in various places around the world before settling in Adelaide for what many around them believed was a normal family life. People have a facade and nobody knows until something like this happens, just what, what's going on. Alice Monfries is live at the Adelaide Magistrates Court and Alice, the accused killer fronted the court late this afternoon. That's right, Brenton. The 53-year-old appeared just a short time ago and didn't utter a word during the very brief hearing. He stood silently in the dock as court proceedings were relayed to him via a Russian interpreter. Now, his lawyer made no application for bail, which means he'll remain behind bars until at least his next court appearance, which will be in late April, and where hopefully some light will finally be shed on just how this tragic case unfolded. Thank you, Alice.